Hey, let's talk about if statements. If statements are used to add some choices to a program. Let's take the small program for example. We have a variable edge and we'll ask a user to enter in their edge. What if I would like to check their edge? Maybe they're signing up for a credit card or something. So to check some value, we can write an if statement. If parentheses, then a set of curly braces. If some condition that we specify is true, we will execute some block of code, some subsection of code. What sort of condition should we write? Let's check to see if age is greater than or equal to 18. So there's different comparison operators. There's greater than or equal to, greater than, less than, less than or equal to. Or you could check to see if two values are equal by using double equal signs. This is the comparison operator. If you use just one, this is the assignment operator. And this would be the same as assigning age equal to 18. So if you need to compare if two values are equal, use the comparison operator, which is double equal signs. But what I would like to do is check to see if age is greater than or equal to 18. If this condition evaluates to be true, we will have our program do something. So let's print a message. Since we're signing up for a credit card, let's say you are now signed up. And let's run it. Enter your age. Let's say that I'm 21, I hit enter, boom, you are now signed up. But what if this condition is false? Let's say that I'm 12 years old and I'm attempting to sign up for a credit card. Well, we skip this if statement. If this condition evaluates to be false, we will skip this block of code and continue on with the rest of the program, ignoring it. Or we could do something else by using an else statement. If this condition is false, we will skip this subset of code and instead perform this. Let's print a different message instead. You are too young to sign up. And let's try that again. Enter your age, I am 12. You are too young to sign up. You can check more than one condition before reaching your else statement by using else if blocks. And that is by using else if statements. We can check another statement before reaching our else statement. So let's check to see if age is less than zero. So obviously somebody's messing with this program then because you can't be under zero years old, right? You haven't been born yet. So after running this program, if I say that I'm negative six, you haven't been born yet. So we will check our if statement first. If this condition is false, we will move down to the next block and then check this else if condition. If all above statements evaluate to be false, we will execute this else block as a last resort, so to say. And with these else if blocks, you can add more than one. Let's check something else, just to demonstrate. Else if, what about age is equal to zero? And we will print, you can't sign up. You were just born. And to your age, I am zero years old. You can't sign up, you were just born. If one of these conditions evaluates to be true, we will skip all of these statements that come after. Then with our else block, if all above statements evaluate to be false, we definitely execute whatever's within here. So yeah, those are if statements. They add some choice to a program. You can check to see if some condition is true. If not, you can check something else using else if statements. You can perform whatever is within an else block, and that's optional. So yeah, those are if statements in C. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to help me out by smashing that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.